Hello everyone, welcome back to another how-to video. Today is not BrickLink specific, but instead it is uh, PayPal specific. I've had a lot of requests on, you know, showing everyone how to do this, and specifically what I'm going to show you guys how to do today is print a shipping label with PayPal. Now something to keep in mind, it is September of 2020. PayPal seems to like to change their interface quite a bit, um, at least from my experience in the past. So if you're watching this in the future, the interface could be slightly different, but overall the process will most likely be relatively close to the same. I'm also using a PayPal business account. I don't know what it looks like on a non-PayPal business account, but I would imagine for the majority of it, the terms and everything used in terms of like uh, the language they use on the page will be very similar. So what I want to start by showing you guys is just how to print a single shipping label. Now, let's say you're getting five, six, seven, eight, or more orders a day. You may want to print multiple labels at a time. So instead, we can also do something called multi-order shipping. And that's what we'll get to at the end of this video, or obviously in just a minute. But a lot of people, I think, just want to know how to print a shipping label from PayPal, you know, just simply uh, from just a single order. Um, so what we want to do to begin is go to this page here, which is our activity page. So we're going to go up and we're going to click on activity and then we'll have this little drop down and then we want to click on all transactions and once you do that it'll reload to the page that I was just on. Now obviously I'm blurring out some information here, people's names and stuff. I'll keep the prices and stuff I guess I suppose. Um, but what we can see on here is on the right side we have you know print shipping label as an option. We have archive. We have a few different options here but the orders that are still considered to be open are the ones that say print shipping label. So those don't have any tracking number or anything attached to them. Now, one thing I want to note is if we hover over the little button that says print shipping label, you'll see a little drop down um, pops up. And this gives us a few more options that we can do here. Obviously, we can print the label, but as you see underneath where it says print shipping label, there's one more button that says add tracking. Now, that is if you want to use a different courier, or let's say you use USPS, but you do not use PayPal directly to ship it. You can still have the PayPal seller protection as long as you add the tracking information and it's, you know, a, a certified courier, I suppose. Um, it is all still available with the PayPal uh, seller protection. So if you're using something like Pirate Ship, and I'll put a little card in the top right if you want to click on that, it saves some money depending on what you're shipping to or stuff. Um, you can actually add the tracking information here and still be protected. You also just mark it as shipped, refund, and archive this. But we're going to click the print shipping label button. Um, because obviously I'm showing you guys how to make a shipping label. Now once that happens, you'll be brought to this page here, and this is what it should look like, and obviously you have, you know, what the order is, what it's for, how much it costs, and who you're shipping to, and now you have some options in the middle of the screen here. So in this case, this one's not going too far from where we're located in California, so we're going to select the USPS as the, the carrier. Now obviously if you're in a different country, all these things are going to be different. You could also do U UPS if you're in the United States. Now, USPS underneath it, we always select, or generally select, first class mail, par or parcel service, two to five days. Now, this is generally the cheapest if it's under a pound. If it's over a pound, there's a few different options that you can play around with and kind of figure out which one's going to be the best for you. But let's say, for example, and I actually am going to print this shipping label, so I know this person, this order weighs less than four ounces. So the way the first class mail um, you know, kind of levels up is in four ounce increments. So we can go up to four ounces and that'll be one price. And then from four to eight ounces, or sorry, 4.01 to eight ounces will be another price. 8.01 to 12 ounces, 12.01 all the way up to 16 ounces. There are four different increments in prices and then obviously where it's going plays a little bit of a role as well. So in this case, you know, you can select large package or package and thick envelope. In this case, it's going in a bubble mailer, which is a thick envelope. And I know that this is about three ounces, so I'm going to say four ounces just to be safe. Because if you do select something, let's say, for example, it weighed five ounces and you only selected four ounces, they will charge you later on um, an additional fee as well as the difference to ship that thing that was a little bit heavier. So in this case, I'm going to go with four ounces. Now, down here, you can see tracking is included. If you want the person to sign for it, it costs additional money, but you can do that if you want. And then if you really want, you can display the postage cost on the label. Um, I don't really see a point in that, but the last thing down here is something that another people, or a lot of people I think are confused on BrickLink a little bit, is the insurance. So if you want to add insurance to the shipment, and this is a USPS insurance, they will insure the shipment up to a certain amount or whatever you type in there, but we're going to keep it at zero for now because this buyer did not request insurance on their shipping. And now we're going to click this Calculate Shipping Cost button. Now once that happens, you're going to see it gives us a quote over here. We haven't paid yet or anything, it's just letting us know what it's going to cost 
for this shipping method. And you can see it's going to cost $2.74. In this case, it's going to take it out of our PayPal balance. And if I click the confirm and pay button, it'll bring us to this final screen here after it has been confirmed. So you can see everything went through. And we have a couple options here. We can, you know, see the transaction ID, which I have blurred out for you guys, unfortunately. Um, but we can also see the tracking info down here. That's what this blue is right here. That's actually a link you can click and it'll open up on USPS. Again, I'm gonna blur that out just so you guys can't see that. Not, I don't know if that's really a big deal, but just in case. And then you can see there's one more thing here which says print. Now this is where you're gonna print the actual item. So if you click that print button, it'll uh, show up in a new window. I'm not gonna do it, but it'll show up just as a shipping label. And from that point, you can print to whatever printer you would like. So that's all you know your preference and stuff, whether it's a label printer or just a regular kind of inkjet printer or something. You click that print button and you're able to print from there. Generally what we do is we click print and then what we do is we copy this tracking number down here and then from there uh, we paste that into BrickLink and we are done. Now again this works really well if you only have one, two, maybe even three orders in a day but if you're doing multiple orders PayPal has a nice feature that allows you to print multiple shipping labels and pay for it through one simple transaction. So if we go up here to the home tab we're going to click the home button and it'll bring us to this home page. Now again, like I mentioned, this is the PayPal business thing. It is not uh, PayPal personal, so it might be a little bit different um, than what you would normally see. But hopefully if it is personal, you have this quick links over here. Now, if you see here, we have the option for an app center. We have invoicing, request money, send money, PayPal checkout, PayPal here. I don't actually know what that is, but we don't have anywhere on here where it says multi-order shipping, but what we're able to do is click this edit button here. Once we click that, we're going to see this little box pop up, and this gives us some options. We can scroll through here, and we can see all these different things, all these kind of useful things if we want to, like shipping calculators, tax calculator, fun things like that. And you can see they all have hearts next to them. Most of them are empty. What we want to add is this one right here, multi-order shipping, and if we click that heart, it'll now be added into our quick links here. And you can see on the right side, we have multi-order shipping. So if I click on that, it'll open up a new page that looks like this. And you can see we have our orders that have not yet been shipped. And again, I have blurred stuff out for you guys, but we have this little add button. When we click on that add button, you can see it drops down a little bit and gives us some more information on the shipment. And it looks very similar to the page we were just on of these single shipping. So we can select priority mail service, you know, first class parcel, whatever we're doing. A uh, large package, thick envelope, and let's just say this one weighs eight ounces, not uh, not four. We can click calculate shipping cost, and you will see that it actually, right here, adds that shipping cost into your total. So now, if you go through all of these orders, you're going to have a total postage cost here down at the bottom for all of these. And then when you click review and pay, you will actually uh, be able to print all of these shipping labels at once without having to go in individually and print them one by one. So this is helpful and it is a little bit quicker if you do have a lot more orders in a day. Um, I know larger stores definitely use this or hopefully use this because it's a huge time saver. Hopefully this was helpful to a lot of you. I know a lot of people have requested this video for a very long time to see how to ship on PayPal. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. If you liked the video or found it helpful at all, please give us a thumbs up. That really does help out the channel, lets us know we're doing something right. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button for more uh, how-to videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you all in the next video.